before I jump in and talk about the new Ego Mowers for 2023, I want to tell you a little bit of a story. So when I come across excited, it's not because I'm trying to sell these. I don't care whether you buy them or not, but I do want you to know why I get excited about this brim. It actually started back in 2014. I got a call from this guy named Steven. He started telling me about how he's got this new lawn mower, battery operated, telling me all the good things about it. At the time, I was sold on gas. I didn't want anything else. Plus, my original experience with battery operated lawnmowers, it's a no it was a novelty item. The batteries couldn't keep up, the technology wasn't there. They were cheaply made. They were more of a hassle than actually gas back in the day is how I felt. Well, he kept talking, telling me, he's like, listen, this breaks the mold. I want you to try it. If you don't like it, you can give it away or do whatever you want with it. And I said, all right, give it a shot. I knew I was gonna try it. I knew I was just gonna end up giving it to my neighbor. However, I got the lawnmower and it actually blew me away. It was more than what I expected. It was quality. It actually cut the grass. It didn't push it over. So that actually changed my mind. He was so dead on when he said it broke the mold. And ever since then, Ego has been the leader in terms of OPE products. I am so fully invested in uh, Ego. I've got the string trimmer, the hedger, edger, all sorts of different things from Ego because that's how much I trust this brand and how much it's been good to me. This was the original lawnmower I got back in 2014. This is eight years old. I still use some of the same batteries now I got newer batteries too that I mix in with it but this thing is still running you can see the only thing that's really broken this used to be their safety uh, mechanism where you'd have to push it and take it out for safety reasons so now I put duct tape on there yeah I could tie it back on there but whatever other than that this thing has been absolutely awesome and over the years I've had a chance to try new ego mowers and why they have been awesome I have never changed not because I don't like them but just because for me Eight years running, it's one of those things I want to take and see how long I can run it before the thing actually dies. Now I got to admit, this new 2023 mowers might make me change. Not because I don't like this, but the new mowers are absolutely awesome. All right, so here you go. Here are the two new lawnmowers for 2023, along with my old one, the original one back in 2014. So let's talk about these two mowers. The first mower, the model number is LM2114SP, which is this mower right here. The model number to this mower is LM2125SP. So instead of going over the model numbers, I'm gonna, anytime I refer to something, it's the 14 and the 25. So they share a lot in common and they have a couple things that are different. First of all, let's go what's in common. Both of these mowers have a 3,360 watt brushless motor that delivers six foot pounds of torque. Now that's awesome. Now I don't know what this was back in the day, but I do know that the technology is better than what it was back then. Second of all, they all have this, they're both a 21 inch deck and it does have the, I don't know if it's what type of ABS plastic or whatever it is, whatever it is, I do know that it lasts. Here's proof right here, eight years ago, no cracks, anything like that. Another thing that's in common is the one handle uh, height adjustment. So you can move this and you can adjust it high, you can adjust it low, whatever you want to. One thing that I absolutely love that I don't see much with any other mowers is the actual handle. Tube, tube handle, it's strong, there's not a lot of play in it. And again, same design that they have here. You can fold these both up for storage. Another thing they have in common is they both bag, they both side discharge, and they both mulch. So another item they have in common, LED lights. So you get to that dusk and you're still mowing, you wanna finish up, they got LED lights, okay? So let's talk a little bit about what is different with Okay, first of all, on the 14, that comes with a six amp hour battery, where the 25 will come with a 7.5 amp hour battery. And they both have different chargers too. Okay, so the 14 will give you about 50 minutes of runtime. This one with the 25 will give you 60 minutes of runtime. Okay, another significant difference that you really need to kind of think about is the way that you engage the self-propelled mower. The 14 is actually has handles that you have to push up where the 25 just has a button so you can easily have your hands down here and just use your thumbs. I find that this one a little bit easier to work with than that one. Not that that's a big deal at all. So they're both a 21 inch self-propelled mower. So as you can see, they look the same. They've got the same motors in there. They've got a lot of the same features, same build quality. Everything is pretty much the same. What you're gonna get differently to sum it up a, different, a bigger battery with this 25. What it's really gonna come down to is which mechanism do you like? Do you like the push button? Do you like the handles? For me, again, I like this. So those are that's kind of the main differences between them. So you can see they actually share a lot of similarities together. So 
the bottom line, I feel like when you go with Ego, you're not gonna go wrong. Here's a perfect example, a mower that is eight years old, it still runs. So check this out for 2023, these two lawnmowers come out, and they're also gonna be releasing some other cool things in 2023, which we will cover later on. All right, so let's talk performance of this. First of all, my 2014 old technology, and I still love it. I love the way that it actually cuts, it bags, it mulches. So now, four, eight years later, you have better technology, better materials. I mean, better all around. The bagging, the mulching, and the side discharge are absolutely awesome. The runtime is second to none. Quality of this is what you'd expect from Ego. All right, guys, this is neighbor Tom's Ego. You can tell he uses the heck out of this thing. So this is the Select Cut series. Let's go talk with neighbor Tom and see what he thinks of it. All right, guys, I'm here with neighbor Tom. If you could have one neighbor in the entire world, this is the guy to have as your neighbor, dude. But the reason I'm here is not to talk and brag about how great I have it with well. a great neighbor. It's here. You set the pace. I... So you always had gas. And then yeah. your first battery powered was the Eagle, right? That's right, yeah. Why were you hesitant about going with battery powered? Yeah. Why? I was one of the late starters. I probably, uh, maybe a year and a half ago now that I went to uh, battery powered because uh, everything I have takes gas. Okay. And uh, that's what I was used to, a strong lawnmower, and I thought that, that was the way to go. But now with the battery, it doesn't have that heavy steel frame. It's not loud. It's light to turn corners, do whatever you do. And first-hand experience Tom and I were talking about because he's got an edge and all that. He's actually got an edger and a couple other gas powered stuff. You ended up, still can't get some of them started, right? It's a pain in the butt to get started. Right. And Tom is mechanically inclined. He knows stuff in and out. So it's not even that. It's the fact that it's the time, it's the hassle. So your ego, I'm gonna just say this, I'll let Tom speak for himself, but I know he likes batteries so much. He's asking me for a blower, a string trimmer. Now he wants to move everything over to battery powered. What do you yeah. think about your cut quality and all that? Oh, everything's great. And it, it's so much easier. I like to push a lawnmower and it's so light, being all fiberglass body or some type of molded plastic, uh, compared to that steel frame and the heavy motor, it's so nice. Isn't it? And you, you don't know, have to worry about running it. down and getting gas or having to worry right. about bad gas oh, or anything sure. like that. Fully adjustable, everything, the height of the lawnmower, the handle, telescopes, raises up and down. Uh, it's wonderful. All the controls are convenient. I like it quite a bit. I bag my grass just because I got kids will start taking it in on that. You actually mulch your grass. Always. I never pick it up yet. And how do you like the mulching? You think it does a great job? Well, Good it job? It does a great job. I have a lawn service that sprays and, you know, that takes care of the weeds. Yeah. And they fertilize, you know. All I do is cut it and it looks great. Even with the leaves and stuff like that, it's been fine mulching? Right. You know what? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Any words of wisdom besides caffeine, nicotine? That's about it. All right. Thanks, Tom. 72 years old, caffeine, nicotine.